Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Today I want to talk about MIDI pitch bend and how to reset it in your projects. Uh, because if you don't reset it, it gets to be a pretty big pain. I'll show you what I mean right now. So here's the first MIDI pattern. There's no pitch bend information in this one. So that's playing correctly. Go to this one. You can hear there is a pitch bend in that one. To see the pitch bend, we click this little plus button in the MIDI editor. We go up to the top menu and choose pitch. Let's go to the end. At the end of this item, we have the MIDI pitch bend information, pulling down the pitch bend wheel on my keyboard. The problem with MIDI pitch bend is that the controls don't have a start and end point. They set the value and they remain at that value until it gets a new message to change it. So once I play something with a pitch bend that goes down two notes, everything after that is going to be pitched down two notes. I can show you that now by dragging this item over here and playing them sequentially. So that's pitched down lower than it was before. I can move this away from that item. It's still too low, I can move it earlier than that item. It's still too low. Here's what we have to do. We have to go into the item that we do not want to pitch down. I've got snap to grid on, just so it'll snap right to the start. And uh, let's better zoom in here. We don't need two of them, just one. I'm gonna highlight it, click in here, and then go to event properties. I'll bring up a new window right here. And we need to set this to a number 8192. So that will reset the MIDI pitch for this item, at least at the start of the item, and OK. So now we can just barely see that there's a little, a little dot here. For pitch bend, we can see a little dot in the MIDI item as well. We can play this item from the start, and it'll play at the correct pitch. We can put this after the other item with the pitch bend, and it'll play at the correct pitch. Problem solved. It's a pain in the butt when you run into this thing, but now you know how to fix it. Remember the number 8192. That will reset your MIDI pitch bend to zero. This is something that I've run into a few times. It's a big pain, so I hope this tutorial has helped you. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. You can support the Reaper blog with a monthly donation through Patreon. And please visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.